Hey y'all, how y'all doing this evening? I hope everybody is doing well. I hope you had a blessed Friday. Um, to me, it was my feeling myself Friday, and I really and truly enjoyed myself. I spent some time with my husband and with my family, and I just really, really had a good time. Um, now, I am coming to you because one of my subscribers who is becoming a um, a good friend to me asked me a question um, she and I have been conversating back and forth for a little while and um, the the more we talk the more I find that we have a lot in common I mean I could say that about a lot of people but you know, it's just some kind of common ground. It's, it's to me, um, it's a connection because we have more than one thing in common. You know, we can identify on so many levels um, with each other. So, with that being said, uh, hello, y'all. Hi to all of my new subscribers and my old subscribers. I love y'all to pieces. Um, some of you today, I did get a chance to send you messages in your inbox, um, personal messages, and it was just to come in um, and check on you guys to see how you're doing. Um, if you did not receive a message from me, it doesn't mean that I wasn't thinking about you. Um, I ran out of time trying to help. Um, my son was designing something for one of my good friends, and so we were going back and forth with that. I've been working on my t-shirt show, and... Um, I should have some of them um, all designed and ready, and it's it's not hard, but trying to choose the right font and all of that kind of stuff, I just want it to be nice. Um, you can choose what font you want if you're interested in a t-shirt. The sayings that I have on the shirts are what you say, uh, domestic diva, um, hey sugar, um, and... Um, I think that's it. Hold on, let me check right quick. Because some of them, I have taken some pictures uh, of the ones that I've designed. And I've done a lot of, you know, um, I've done them in different colors. And then I changed the color of the font and I might have added something extra to it. So, um, oh, designer original. Domestic Diva, What You Say, and Hey Sugar. Um, I got a few more that I'm going to work on, but I'm going to start with these first. Um, hmm, yeah, I think that's it. That's the only ones. But anyway, now back to um, why I came tonight to talk to you guys. One of my good friends, like I said, she sent me a message, and she asked me a question. Now, I'm going to answer this question according to me and my feelings and what I have observed, okay, from my personal experiences. I'm not a life coach. I'm not a therapist. I don't have a Ph.D. I'm just me, and I've been through some things, and if I can share with you my experience and how things turned out for me and it helps you I'm all fine for it. so don't nobody take offense to nothing that I say because it's just coming from me it's not meant to be derogatory it's just a personal experience okay guys now the question is how do you establish a good relationship with women she goes on to say, I find it very hard to let women get close to me, to even build a strong relationship. Who? Oh, okay. Um, now, there are a lot of things that come about um, when you're trying to build a relationship with other women. Not everybody can be trusted, okay? Not everybody have the right intentions. And me personally, I found that out the hard way. 
And I know you did mention some things in your email to me. So I'm going to address some of the things that happened to me and hopefully that will help you. Now, um, I had issues. I've always been a kind of open kind of person. Y'all should know that because I talk about pretty much anything. Um, but I do have to be mindful of it's not just me anymore. I'm not single. And my husband is not as open as I am. So it's certain things that I talk about to a certain extent. So um, with that being said, you know, letting people in. And when you let people in, you open up the door for you got some unsavory kind of people. Some people that just, you know, have no kind of, I don't want to say common sense, but no conscience, no heart. Okay, you got some people that will do that to you. Okay, what I will say is this when you're trying to live your life right, trying to live for God and following His Word, sometimes you will lose a lot of people that you had as friends. Because, for one, they don't want that, as you, they say, that God being thrown up in their face all the time if they're not at the place that you are at that moment. They don't want it being shoved in their face all the time. So they start to pull back, okay? That's one reason that relationships with women can fall back is because um, if you're used to hanging out and laughing and hee hee and ha ha and then going to clubs and all that kind of stuff and you talk about guys and this, that, and the other, um, they get used to that. But then when you still slowly start to change and you're not doing the same things and you're not comfortable doing the same things, that will let you know that these are not the people that are meant to be in your circle. Um, not that you are somebody, you know, uh, that they need to be beating down the door. I don't mean it like that. I mean God will remove people from your midst so that you can come to a place where he wants you to be. Anything that can be a serious distraction that's going to send you down the wrong road, it will be removed from you, okay? That's one thing. And that's a hard thing to deal with, too, because you know what you're trying to do for yourself to better yourself and for your, and for your family. But then it's like you're losing all of your friends and you're wondering, what did I do? It's not anything that you did. When you are totally, when you're not living your life on the wrong side, you're not straddling the fence, when you're not, you know, kind of teeter-tottering back and forth, when you are serious about it and you really want to go ahead and you want to, you know it's time for you to get your life right. God, you will see how God will remove people out of your midst. He will take people um, away um, and you can't figure out why. And nine times out of ten, they don't know why either. They just know, they just, they sometimes get a little bitter feeling or you know, get a little snooty or something, whatever it may be. That's one way that, you know, relationship with women can go down the tubes. Now, you have another type of woman. You got a woman that you feel as though is a friend, but she's a backstabber. She's just dirty, just slimy. That's the kind of woman that want to get to know you and know your business because she got her eyes on your dude. Okay, I experienced that firsthand. Okay, so to me, when that happens, my first reaction was, what did I do to you? I fed you. I helped take care of your child. We talked. We did things together. But all along, you just wanted to get a piece of my man. You didn't give a hill of beans about me. And when you really get, and it really hurts when you have this person that you're close to. That you have been knowing for so long and they stab you in the back like that. That hurts. Now when you got these kind of things going on, it make you feel some kind of way. It make you build up a wall. It make you not want to even get close to people. Okay? It will. Because it did me like that. It got to the point where I didn't invite nobody to my house. Um, I would talk to you on the phone, but it was only certain kinds of information. But I have learned over the years that all I could do is be me. No matter what the circumstances are, no matter who you are, 
One thing is certain and two for sure. People are going to show you who they are and what they're about. Now, as far as having that kind of girlfriend, because we all do it, having that kind of girlfriend that you can talk about sex with, um, you know, that you can really open up and talk about your feelings with, and you don't have to worry about her going, hmm, that sounds good. I might have, hmm, I might want to try that. I might want to go, um, yeah, I think I'm going to let her slip one time and see what I do. Now, when you find a girlfriend like that, that's a true friend. A true friend is one that's going to be there when your mess stink all the way to whatever. Okay, when you done made all kind of mistakes, when you wrong as two left shoes and they the wrong color, that's a true friend. A true friend is going to tell you, look, it's going to be okay. I don't know when, I don't know where, and I don't know how. You just hold on. You just keep trying. That's a true friend. And they don't come a dime a dozen. Not anymore. So it's kind of hard to find that kind of person. Now, I can honestly say my YouTube friends, um, my Facebook friends that I have met over the last year, I don't know y'all from a can of paint. But all I can do is trust that you are who you say you are and that you don't mean me any harm. Because I believe in, the, in, in God. I do. I believe in God and I believe in his son, Jesus Christ. And I believe in his word. That whatever you do to me, you're doing to yourself. He will make your enemy your footstool. That's one scripture I know y'all have heard me say several dozens of times. And I truly believe in him. He is the fighter of all of our battles. Okay, now when you find that person that you can't trust, you have to feed them with a long handled spoon. Not everybody's patience and understanding is the same. Some people just can't tolerate that. When they find somebody that's downright dirty like that, I don't want to have nothing to do with you. Now me, I get to that point, especially if I really and truly cared about you. It's only certain things that I will do. Our relationship will never be the same. But I will still care, especially if we were like sisters. You know what I mean? I won't be that. I don't want to be that fool for you, as they say. But um, no matter what, when you got that girlfriend that's trying to be underhanded and be behind your back and mess with your man, always know this. It takes two to tangle, baby. So even if she trying to get at your man, it's up to him whether he put a stop to that. So if he just sitting there letting it go on and letting it go on, and he dead wrong too. So you got both of them at fault. So whatever you feel like you do or need to do as an individual, that's what you do. I'm not talking about going out and hurt nobody. But if you feel like that was just beyond your realm of understanding or that's just I, I, I just can't do that one and I, I can't tell you well don't unfriend them don't don't just not talk to them no more you have to do what you have to do you talk to God about it you pray about it and if it's meant for that person to be in your life something will change down the line that you two shall reunite at some point if it's not it's not that's just it I got a girlfriend that did me like that, and y'all, I I used to make pies and cakes, cook for Thanksgiving, take it to our house, all kind of stuff, and it hurt me because we were little girls going to get our hair pressed together, okay, playing together, they went to school together, and I can't help it if somebody had a crush on my on on my then, oh well, he was my husband then too, I can't help that. But my thing is this, I'm that kind of person, the sin don't come until you act upon it, okay? I don't care what you think, I don't care what you feel. That don't mean you're supposed to act on everything that comes through your head and the way that you feel. You don't act on it always. You don't. When it's wrong like that, you don't do that. You you think about that person, okay, I know that's wrong, Lord. Please help me to get rid of these feelings. I know it's wrong. 
but that's just something you have to do but you got some people just don't care some people just going to do it regardless because Okay, I'm going to catch her when she's slipping and mm, I want to see what he got because I like how he's taking care of her. I like how he's doing this and he's doing that. And Oh, he look good in them jeans. And baby, oh, he look like he got something down there. I like the muscles. Yeah, they think like that. When you got people like that, it's their fault. It's not yours. It hurts and we wonder why. Why did you do that to me? Why? I've never done you like that. It's the, it's the individual. It's the individual. There's nothing we can do that can change people. It's a conscious decision when you choose to mess around with somebody else's man. It didn't just happen. Because I tell my girls right now, don't put yourself in a position that you can't say no. Don't put yourself in a position where you have those kind of feelings that you just can't control. Because nine times out of ten, it's going to hell in a handbasket for real. It's not worth your. It's not worth your spirit. It's not because you. You got to at some point when you do something like that, you got to feel like crap afterwards. Hey, it might have been good. You might have had a good time getting it, but baby, there will be one cold and lonely night you laying in the bed and it's you and God having to deal with that. Mm, mm, mm. If, if you listen to your conscience. But I'm here to tell you, God created you. He have his own way of getting to you. I, it ain't nothing I got to say. Whatever lesson he wants you to learn from that, Whatever, however he want to deal with you, he will deal with you. That's a problem. That's that's a given. So when it comes to relationships with women, there's no direct science to me. All it is is just like I'm going to say with you, and this is for the person whose question I'm answering. Just like I'm pretty sure you watch my video and you listen to me talk, and it was something about me that just drew you, just drew you in, okay? And that's how you really get to know people, to me. That's how you get to know people, like that. Um... There's a connection. There's this oneness that you have with this person. There's a um, a common ground. There is um, um, a kind of bond that you build with this person. Hold on a minute, y'all. Something is going on with my computer here. What in the world? My screen went completely white, so I don't know if this is recording or not. I see my camera light is on. But if it's recording, I will have to edit this for real. Mm-mm-mm. Okay. Good, it was still recording. But anyway, um... When you're dealing with certain situations like that, all you can do is let people show you who you who they are. I'm going to read the other part of the question.
Now you say you and your mother had a conversation about this and um she was telling you um And, and she's right. In some cases, certain women, you have to put a, put a distance between you. You have to draw the line with certain women. You can't tell certain women everything. You know that kind because you'll, you'll get to know them by the way they talk, the way they act towards you, the things that they say about other people. That lets you know, okay, if they talk like that about them, what will they do about me? Okay, so you, you'll learn those kind of people. You learn what information you can share with them. Because, like, I have a girlfriend that I can talk to her, you know, we talk about pretty much everything. You know, I'd be like, girl, uh, she'd be like, girl, it's been a minute, you know, I got to get me some. And I, I, I don't know how you feel. That's that girlfriend like that. We could talk like that because I, I'm not worrying about her trying to get that old boy, uh-uh, because I definitely don't want her man, because I got my own, but that's where uh, being a real woman comes in at, being satisfied with who you with, and even if you by yourself, um, go out and find your own, why would you want to go and interrupt somebody else's relationship just to get a little bit of what she getting? People don't understand, you the side chick, you are not going to be priority and even if he leave her for you what make him not gonna do that for what's so special about you it ain't got nothing to do your stuff i don't mm, i do i mm, no there's nothing that you can do that's better than another woman i don't give a flying flip-flop if a man is gonna cheat he's gonna cheat i don't care how clean you keep his house I don't care how nice you look. I don't care how fine you are. I don't care how big your breasts. I don't care how juicy your lips. I don't care what kind of job you got, what kind of income you bring in. You could be all that and then some. Your family could be rich as anybody. Rich as Bill Gates. If he sees a piece of a piece of tail that he want to go and hit, he going to hit it. That's just it. So when you find that that female that talk about doing stuff like that to other women, and you know that woman she talking about is with this man, and she was like, hmm, I don't care, let her slip. That's the one you know you feed with a long handled spoon. You keep her close enough that you can, you know, have a conversation with her to see where her mind is at. But don't be volunteering no information about you and your man. And you listen to how she talk, and you watch him, that's the one you don't let your man walk around with his wife beater and his shorts. Or walk around the house with just his shorts and no shirt. Or you don't let her come to your house when he's home. And if he is there, he need to stay in the back or she stay out on the porch. One or the other. If she come in the house, yeah, you can find to the den area. If you go to, uh, yeah, it's a bathroom off the garage. That's where you go use the bathroom at. You have to feed certain people with a long handle spoon. That's just all to it. Them the ones you keep close. And you're right. Your mama told you right. You cannot build up a wall because you can't live your life being afraid of um, meeting people because you're afraid of what they might do or what they might say. People, all you have, you all we can do is continue to pray and trust God because if they the wrong ones for you, He gonna remove them. Even if it means all their layers got to be peeled back and one of y'all feelings might get hurt or you might be, whatever it may be, you're going to find out. You're going to find out. And then you handle that situation the way you feel like you need to handle it. I don't condone, condone violence. I don't condone any of that. Because I know me, I, I, I do, I want to get up and, and do some things sometimes, but you know what, it's not going to benefit me at all. Because for one, I've created a bigger problem for myself. Two, I have created a problem for somebody else that might have started it. Three, my conscience, my feelings, my mind, all of that is going to be involved. That person may be, they, I can slap the piss out of her, whatever. Her face is staying for a minute, but I'm going to be the one that can't sleep at night. 
because I might have handled that in the wrong way. You don't have to fight your way through everything. And I'm a firm believer. I I don't play that. I don't do that. But hmm, I have to bite my tongue. I'm surprised I even have the outer edges of my tongue because I bite my tongue so much because it's just not meant. Then I, later on, I might have a conversation with myself. I have a conversation with it, but you know what? In the midst, I'm going to say, God, I thank you. I thank you for my restraint. I thank you for your word because I can go to your word, and when you tell me you're going to do something, I'm going to leave it to you. Payback is something else, and a lot of people don't believe in that, but it's true. Yes, it is. Now you have another question. Um, should you disclose information about your family? Like I said, it's you dis it, you you get to know people, and you know who you can disclose what kind of information to. Because I have some family members that's just make you, you can't tell them, you can't even whisper nothing to them. So you just have to get to know the people around you as to what kind of information you disclose. You still should not disclose a whole lot of information, but I know me, I'm one for running my mouth, so I have to catch myself, you know, because I just like to talk. I don't feel like I just, um, I just, I'm just that kind of sharing person. I, because we all go through things in life, I just don't understand it. Why some people just don't get that? I'm not that kind of person, though. See, that's the that's the difference between me and other people. I'm not that kind of person that's gonna run and go back and tell your business. You know what I'm saying? Why? Okay, you you confide in me um, about somebody. Why would I go back and tell them what you say? That don't make no sense. That make me untrustworthy. That make that, you might well tattoo across your forehead. Can't hold water and air either. That kind of stuff don't make sense. So yeah, you're right. You have to pick and choose who you um, disclose certain types of information to, and that takes some time getting to know people. That takes seeing them around other people around their family, listening to their conversations. I don't mean eavesdropping, but I mean you pay attention to people when they talk and about the things that they say. Because I know some people talk about all, talk about everybody. I mean talk about everybody. But wonder why they stay in the middle of something. Yeah. Also, if you have a husband and children, do you think it's right for a woman to hang out in clubs and bars, etc.? Now, I don't do either. Of, I don't do those. You know why? I go every now and then, but I don't do it often. You know why? Because I don't want it, my husband, because I can't ask him not to do something that I'm not doing. So if I don't want him hanging out in bars, then I shouldn't do it. It's okay to go every now and then with your girlfriends. Y'all go have a drink. Y'all go to dance because, baby, I love to dance. I can dance 10 or 12 hours. I love music. And for tonight, we spend about a good three hours just listening to that music, period, just dancing through the house. We do that all the time. I love music and I love dancing. But sometimes um, it gets to be a habit. You know, you... You go through little stuff and just don't let it be a habit. If your husband feels some kind of way about you going to do stuff like that, then just know that that's just not, that's something you're going to have to work out with him. You know, let him know, I want to just go out with the girls tonight. It's not going to be a habit, you know, but it's just something that we, you know, we want to go and let our hair down. Just something like that. Come home and you have on your nice little heels and, your cute little outfit and have your face done, your hair done, come home and tear him up. Let him know that he don't have nothing to be afraid of or, you know, concerned about. 
long as you don't come home calling him somebody else's name, we're good to go. Okay, um... I think that's pretty much it. So, your question is, why do we as women have a hard time being good friends with one another? Sometimes it becomes jealousy. Sometimes women are greedy. Um, sometimes women don't know who they are and don't know what they want. So, they try to find it in other people and in other people's lives. They get where they don't, they have no conscience, they have no cooth about themselves. And so you have to really limit the kind of people that you hang around. And the only way you can do that is you just have to interact with people. Certain types of conversations you have with people. You listen at people's conversations. You look, listen to their body language and, and all of that kind of stuff. And you just weed them out. That's the only thing I can tell you to do. You pray before you leave home. You pray about everything. Even if you're sitting there having a conversation, okay, Lord, I'm listening at some of this stuff coming out of her mouth, and I ain't too cool with it. And um, if she is not the right kind of person to be in my life, I ask you to remove her and everything she got in it. Take away. And, and especially if you really have known her for a long period of time and you've gotten to be close to her, Lord, it may hurt, but I know you got my best interest at heart. Because I don't need the foolishness. That's all we can do. We can't do no more than that. You trust a person until they show you otherwise. That's all we can do. You and I have conversated, you know, back and forth on here. We haven't talked on the phone. But um, being a wife, being a mother, um, I've dealt with unsavory friends. I've dealt with unsavory family. I've dealt with um, that he say, she say foolishness. Um, all of that. And it just teaches you how to deal with people. It teaches you who you can talk to and who you can't. Who you let walk in your front door and who you tell them, no, you stay out at the street. Some people make you want to keep you a bottle of holy water by your front door and throw it on them. I bind thee, Satan, in the name of Jesus. Some people you just cannot be friends with. And it is sad to say, but that's just how it is. I am not one for hurting people. I don't like to do that. I don't even like... You know, sometimes you have to open your mouth and speak up. And so I don't like doing it. I, I'm not a confrontational kind of person. But if you piss me off and tears start to run out of my eyes, baby, you might as well forget it. Because I'm liable to do anything. Because I get so angry sometimes, it's like my light goes out. And when my light come back on, I'm looking at what I done did. And I'm like, oh, my goodness. I scare my own self. I don't like to get I don't like to get angry like that. So, in the meantime, this house that the Lord has given me, I stay in it. If I want to dance, I turn on my stereo. If I want me a drink, I go to the store and buy my own. If I go to the club or something like that, I pick and choose who I go with. Make sure I have money in my pocket. If I need to catch a cab home, if I'm riding with somebody else, have some money so you can get to get me. It's just certain people. I don't have women come to my house. <clears throat> last last person I had come to my house was my cousin. And she came here. And I've been here since November. She came here one time. Um, my husband's cousin, she came over a couple of times. But it was to discuss an issue. And other than that, I don't, I, I don't have people come to my house. And it's not that I don't trust people. It's just, I guess, I'm not people, I'm not their cup of tea because I don't drink and I don't smoke anymore. I don't drink anymore. Um, and um, people cannot smoke in my house. You cannot smoke cigarettes in my house because my children have asthma, I have asthma, and I don't want my house smelling like cigarettes. They are cigarettes. I just don't. Now, you can go outside and smoke all you want, but I just that's just my choice. 
Anybody will ask them to know why. Um, mm, I just, my, I, I teach my children, you know, y'all can have y'all friends come over because I don't like them going out all the time because people start to watch you um, when you constantly come to the club, same time, same channel. People watch you and they do things to you. So I tell them, if you're going to go out, um, go somewhere else, you know, or you ain't got to go out every night, especially if it's during the work week. Um, have your girlfriends come over and y'all sit and do your nails, do your hair, whatever. Y'all talk or go to their house. You, ain't, you don't have to go to the club. You don't have to do nothing. For one, you about need to come home and go to sleep. Because you got to be up 7 o'clock in the morning to go to work. And here it is 1130 and you trying to go hang out somewhere. Yeah. So, I mean, it's your choice. I can't make you do it. It's your choice. And when you can't get out of bed in the morning and when you feeling like a ton of bricks done cracked you in the forehead, that's you. So, y'all come and go as you please. Just like my husband just came and told me, my daughter, she snuck in the house when I was in the shower. Well, not snuck in. She got a key. But she came home because I was just saying, well, where is that? So here it is, 12 o'clock at night. And um, she got to be up bright and early in the morning to go to work. So when she's tired and can't roll herself out of bed in the morning, that's her. Walking with a ton of bricks on her feet. I ain't got nothing to say. When you're grown, you're grown. You have to deal with things on your own. But you see, it's 12 o'clock. She was in here. Don't come in here. No 3 o'clock in the morning on the work week. I, I, I don't care that you got a key. That door will be locked and then something will be behind you. You better go sleep in the car you just got out of. Have some common sense and some cool about yourself. You got a lot of people don't have that. Have some respect. Because they're not to open after 12 o'clock but some legs. I'm telling you. The bar might be open. A restaurant might be open, but a lot of niggas got their mind open too. Okay, if I buy you this um, lobster dinner, I need me some lobster coochie. You got a lot of people like that. So you have to limit the people you hang around. And I tell my daughter too, if you ain't got money in your pocket, don't take your behind to no store to talk about walking around with your friends. Everybody ain't got good sense. Some people just out to do wrong just because they feel like they can that's the same thing with women. It's some grown, some real grown ass women going to store and do dumb stuff like that. I done been in Walmart, Walmart a many days to see some helpers trying to run out the store with some stuff. I done been in um, AJ Wright, and that's when the um, Ed Hardy stuff really, really got hot, baby. They was trying to steal the whole right. Child, please, they got caught real quick. Got trucked in the middle of the street out in the parking lot. You got to go to jail with chairs on your face, your elbows, your knees, hips, all of that. Because you done slid all the way across the floor trying to run with these people's stuff. And you got you out there on the concrete. And you're behind the handcuffs bleeding. And they ain't going to take you to the hospital. They're going to take you and let you go sit in the infirmary until they feel like they want to give you behind a Tylenol and some, um, a Band-Aid. If they give you that. So, you know, it's just certain people you have to deal with. You just can't deal with everybody. Everybody is not, that's just like on YouTube. I, I call y'all my family. We conversate, you know, but um, I don't know. No, I don't know nobody from a can of oops paint for real. But people will show you who they are and what they're about. And I am so glad that Google has taken over YouTube because all these people that's harassing people, leaving all these negative comments and stuff like that, yeah, they cracking down on you. And believe you me, um, every time y'all send me a comment, when I have to approve my videos, it goes to my inbox. Not only do it go to my, my um, email inbox, but it goes to my YouTube inbox. So that's two places right there that everything is recorded. And believe you me, some of them I don't even read. I just put them into a certain type of box because I know who they're coming from. Because what I do, before I even get it, before I read it, 
even if it's a new person, I go to your page and I look at the date when you created your page. Um, I look and see if you got any comments. All of that before I even read my email. So y'all, if you're wondering why it takes me so long sometimes to respond, because that's what I do. I go to your page and I look at your messages, your comments, to see what date you created your page. And if you created your page within the last year, I want to see what kind of activity on your page. I want to see what kind of comments you leave on other people's pages. Because if you leave leaving anything negative, like I think is unsavory, I go back and I block. I don't even read it. Not no more. Thank you, Lord. And best believe Google is cracking down on it. And all I have to do, all those negative ones, they told me all you have to do is flag them as spam. And they go back and they can, they can get, I can get the IP address or they can get the IP address and they will make you, they will delete all your stuff and block you from, somehow they get it to where you can't even make any more nothing from your computer dealing with Google. Uh-huh. So y'all just keep it up. It's some unsavory characters out there, and now that Google has taken over, they're not playing. And there's a guy, and I got to find his name. Um, one of my girlfriends sent me his link. He's on YouTube, and he was describing the same exact thing as to how people were leaving mean and nasty and threatening comments, and he just politely flagged them. He tell you how to do it, and he even showed, once he did it, how um, Google, within a matter of days, when it shut their whole page down, and then they, it was something that they did to where that person could not even create another Google account. So, um, yeah. And then what they do is you, you prosecute because it's offensive. There's a such thing as having, leaving comments, and there's a such thing as being uh, derogatory and hateful. I had a lady cuss me smooth out, but you know what? It didn't bother me because I politely forwarded right on the Google. And they was like, you, if you have any more problems, let us know. And I believe you me, you can call me a rat if you want to. I'm not on here for that kind of foolishness. I'm here to support and uplift and to share and just to have a good time. That's all I'm here for, y'all. I do my hair videos. I do my makeup. It ain't a whole lot, but this is me. I'm, I haven't graduated. I ain't on some levels like some of my people. I'm not, and I don't want to be. You know, I'm just here. I'm just here. You, you don't know who you're running into. But my girly, I'm not going to say your name. Um, I hope I answered your question. If there's anything else you want to know, you know, hit me up, and I will answer it the best way that I can. I want to give a shout out to um, y'all. I was in the hair store today, and I had somebody to recognize me from YouTube, and I was like, she was like, uh, excuse me, um, do you make YouTube videos? And I said, yes. So, Karina, you made my day, girl. And um, I like I told you, when you on here, just leave me a message on one of my videos. Let me know, hey, this is Karina from the hair store. Just wanted to say hey. And um, let me know so I can check out your channel if you have one. Um, Y'all, I, shoot, I was like, my daughter looked at me and was like, ooh, mama. So I might have recognized you, huh? I was like, well. That was weird. That was because I never expected nobody in my hometown to recognize me from no YouTube. I was like, ooh. My husband was like, uh oh. I was like, uh oh. Here we go. Um, it can be a good thing and it can be a bad thing. But uh, one thing for certain, no weapons formed against me shall prosper. So um, we're going to see where this thing comes. But y'all, also, my t shirts, I'm working, like I say, I'm working on a t shirt. And. Okay, it's 12 o'clock. I might even take my hand in the bed. I don't know. But my girlfriend, Vicky, sent me um, some things to make the shirts with the rhinestones on them. Uh, or what, how you say it? Let me get my tongue right now. Sawarski crystals. 
Okay, gotcha. So I might do that. I'm. I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow. I'm gonna have to have somebody to um to record it for me because I know because it's it's you know the little you have to put them on individually. So I want to make a I want to make some shirts with that. But those shirts will take a good minute if I have to do them by hand. And it's not like you one of them big companies where they got the little thing all laid out and all they do is put it on the TV and put the little press down and press it on and you good to go. No, I have to do that one stone at a time. So yeah, that might take me some time, but um we're gonna see how that goes. So if you guys want a shirt, my hay silver shirt, um, I know y'all say that's a country behind half of right there. You got darn right. I am as country as they get, and I love being country. I love cooking. I love hair. I love all things girly. I love feeling sexy. I love me. I love my cottage cheese butts, my flabby thighs, all my jelly rolls that I can roll into each other. I love everything about me. I love me. So, y'all, I thank y'all for watching. And y'all, what you think about my hair? This is a half wig. And I just got my hair pulled back in a ponytail. And I just got this bad boy clipped on. I've never worn it before. This is my first time wearing it. And I can't tell you the name of it because my daughter bought it. But um, I thought I would try it because I had taken off my short hair. And um, I guess I'll do another video tomorrow. I went and bought me some more short hair. The same company, but I bought by it's by Ultra, and I bought these curly pieces. I want to do me some more curly hair. You know, I'm gonna put that in the front. I got to have something to cover up this dome right here, um, cause I like my dome. I can pull my hair back off my forehead. I like my forehead. They can call me Herman Monster all they wanna. That's my forehead. That's a blessing. That's a blessing. Mm-hmm. I bless you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I just want to say thank y'all for watching me. Grace and CPR for the body. Y'all, thank y'all for y'all beautiful comments. Um, I think I'm going to take Janae. And this is for all of you that have been watching the video of my daughter picking out her prom dress. I have been getting so many comments about it. Why would you let her get that long dress? She too short for that long dress. That was not her dress. That was a sample dress. They have to make her dress. Okay? Now, her dress will be cut short in the front and long in the back. I will not. If she decides to wear that long dress, it's what she wants. Nobody has to go to the prom and show off all they goods. My child got a nice figure, and if she's cool with wearing a long dress to the floor, that's fine. She's a kind of she's not a traditional kind of person. Janae likes to be different. If you see her video with her clowning, that's just Janae. She's clown. She's a clown. Not all the time. She's you know she's serious, but you know she just wanted something different, and that is something different. You gonna see everybody with their side hanging out with they butt all tight in these dresses. And that she can um which I wasn't gonna do, I don't know, I might do it, is um they make a shorter tutu skirt to go underneath. But no, cause she gonna get hers cut short in the front anyway, so ain't no sense of getting two because when she take the top one off, where the heck she gonna put it at? That thing gonna be so dirty. Uh uh, no. But in the meantime we're going to take her back, um, I think tomorrow, because I took her to be, get her waist measured so they could start making the tutu part. Um, she already has her corset, but we're going to take it and get another one because I have had the hardest time finding a bra in her size. And I've got a bedazzle. I'm not going to do all of that. My hands is already, my, I got too much going on. I don't have time for that. Starting this month, March. I am really, you think I was busy and constantly going and shopping and doing all that stuff for my anniversary? No, the fun don't begin till March. I've got four birthdays coming up. The 13th, the 14th, the 15th, and the 28th. Mm-hmm. Then come April 10th. Mm-hmm. Then come, my daughter's got grad night. She's got prom. She's got, um... 
what else? Her baccalaureate stuff. All of that stuff she's got coming up between March and June. Uh huh. Yeah. So, and then we're supposed to take a family trip in June. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. And more. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Y'all know. Mm hmm. Yeah. I'm going to be busy. And, um, uh, so, yeah, I got a lot going on. I got a lot. And that's just from my house. Between myself and my sister, my baby sister has nine children. And,. A lot of them have birth. All of our kids' birthdays are right around the same time. So between going to birthday parties and doing things for my own family, that's why I have to choose January to do for me. Because I can't do for me like that during the rest of the year. Because I got my the rest of my family I got to take care of. So I shop for myself in January. I'm going to start um, now putting $5 up here, $5 up there. Whatever I got to do to save for me for again until next year, um, that's what I'm going to have to do. Unless y'all want to donate to the cause. <laughs> but anyway, I am going to be busy. Um, I hope y'all buy these shirts. Um, I'm looking into, you know, doing some, some shirts. Um, I got to... It probably won't. You know what, Lord? I'm not going to put a time limit. I'm going to leave it to God to provide a way for me to get all my equipment so that myself and my son can um can do these shirts. Um, he drew a logo for one of my girlfriends today for her family reunion t-shirt. And um, I've been trying to get him to draw me this, my domestic diva um, logo. Which is gonna be a girl with hips and a big butt, and um, she—I don't know if I want her to have on a big wig like this, or have on a real short, short, you know, spiky one. But she gonna have on a tool belt. She'll have on have a, a skillet in one hand. She'll have a laptop in the other. Domestic people. Yes, ma'am. We are gonna see. But, y'all, I thank y'all for watching. This video is almost an hour long. But, um, my girly, I hope I answered it. I know I added a little extra in there. You know how I do. I like to talk. So, once I get on camera, I try to get it all out as best I can because I don't come on every day. So, um, I just want to say I thank y'all for watching. I love y'all. And I hope that your day is going well. Excuse me, y'all. I know people be like, what is that she doing? It's like, I'm not clearing my throat. My nose itch. You know how the back, between your nose and your throat get the itching? And <clears throat> if I do like that, it'll kind of scratch it a little bit. So that's what I'm doing when I do that. I know it don't sound right, and it might be irritating to some people. Forgive me, y'all. That's one of my flaws. That's just like, uh-oh. My mouth went missing. Hold on. There it is. Like some people make that sound. I can't do it. Wait a minute. I can't do it. <clears throat> mm -mm. You know how they make that sound where they scratch in the back of their throat? <laughs> hey, baby. What's the matter? You hungry? Okay. What you gonna eat? Oh, my baby made some hot wings. He went to BW3s and bought some hot wing sauce. And he fried them chicken wings, y'all. I ate my two. They were good. Ooh, they was good. Y'all, we went and took family pictures. Here's one of my shirts. I hope y'all can see it. Let me see. No, you can't see it. You can't see it. Mm-mm. Let me see. What about that one? Designer original. And it comes in pink and black. That's the pink and black. Uh-oh. 
Y'all look at my baby. Ain't he cool? Let me see. We took family portraits. Oh, you can't see it. We took family portraits the other day. Let's see if y'all can see that one. What in the happy go lucky is going on, child? Mm mm. Can't see that either. But anyway, y'all, I thank y'all for watching. Y'all know I'm random and I run my mouth, but I love y'all anyway. And I thank y'all for y'all support. I thank y'all for tuning in. And if anybody else have any more um, topics that you want me to address, Feel free to inbox me, and I won't use your name. I might read bits and pieces of it, but I'll try my best not to even say your name. Um, I thank y'all once again. I send y'all love, peace, and Blue Duchess Hagrid. Bye, sisters.